Hey guys, it's Justin. Once again, we're going to uh, do another tutorial. But this is going to be a continuation on how to embed an MP3 player to our website using Dreamweaver. On a previous tutorial, if you haven't watched it, I encourage you to watch it before you watch this, otherwise you'll probably be lost. Um, this one, what we're going to do is keep our song from auto-playing on our website. What I mean by that is you don't want somebody to type in your URL address, your www.mysiteyoursite.com and have songs just playing right off the get-go. And let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver here, which I already have loaded, ready to go. This is my website that I have a music player, a plugin, an MP3 player. All I'm going to do is preview it in Firefox, which is no different than if you typed in the URL address in Internet Explorer or Firefox or what have you. And you'll notice the song auto plays. Once I load up that website, the song is on there, it's playing, and it's annoying for multiple users or for users that visit your site multiple times. So what we need to do is we need to change that. We don't want it to autoplay. We want the user to have the option to play that song or not. So they're not annoyed, they're not frustrated, and if they like the song, they'll play it. So what I want to show you down here is here, and I just kind of minimize this. Yours is probably going to look a little bit different than mine. I just changed it a little bit so you could see it a little bit better. But here's our kind of our page properties. If you look at this, here's the plugin that we inserted on the previous tutorial. Now if I click on that plugin, you're going to notice two things happen here. Number one, on the bottom, everything changes here. We can see our music song, we can see a play button, we see our plugin, how we changed the width and the height, and we expanded it out. But if you look into our code, you can see that it's highlighted as well. So look at the code, keep your eye on the code. If I click outside of that, we are no longer highlighted. If I click on that plugin, go back up here, we are highlighted once again. Another thing, and I'll just do this for tutorial's sake, I'm going to click outside the box. Now keep an eye on the bottom. Things change. We're working inside of our page, not the plugin anymore. If I click back on the plugin, you can see now we're working on that plugin. That's where we need to be. So it makes things simple, quick, and fast. What we need to do is we need to come down to parameters. Click on parameters. You're going to see I got a clear empty box. I want to type in lowercase the word autoplay. That means do I want this to play? Do I not? Click or tab over, either or. If I just click over value, that'll work. Type in false. But let me go back. You can also just tab over. Either which way, we're going to type in the word false. That means no, I do not want autoplay to happen. If I click true, I would say that autoplay, yes, autoplay upon loading website. But we clicked false or we typed in false. We don't want that to happen. So I'm going to show you up here what happened as well as we saw before we didn't have this but now we have autoplay false Dreamweaver makes it simple for us to do that going into parameters and do that type it in and then it just implements the HTML code up above for you you can hand type this no problem I'm gonna click command S or control S if you're on a PC and I'm gonna preview it in Firefox We can see now that my song is not playing on initial load of the website. If the user wants a song to be played, they can click the play button. Pause it. They have full control of this menu bar now. And it's obvious that there's an MP3 player there. So, I mean, there you go. I mean, it's kind of like black and white. Hey, guys, you know, this was a quick, simple tutorial. I know it took me hours to look for it and find it myself. Um, figure out how to do it so I know you guys are gonna look at it you're gonna watch it and you're gonna go oh okay either this helped me or it didn't but uh, all in all 
please, please either subscribe or give me a like, dislike, let me know, throw in a comment. Don't just watch it, take it to your benefit and go, well, thanks, dude. Really appreciate your help. Throw a little vote out there for me. I'd like to see uh, what I'm doing, if it's working out for you guys or not. So go with it and help me out at the same time. I am helping you out. You can help me out. So hope that was a quick tutorial and hope it worked out good for you guys. Talk to you later.